fresh autumn where the sun with the dye is cast and it's a new season of melon sugar podcast and as always it's great it's great it's great to be back with you guys to the new season season three of melon sugar podcast this will be our first episode and i'm here with my co-host Galan. and as always you like to a very big thank you to you guys to every one of you everywhere around the world who's been listening to us and making sure like our podcast goes from strength to strength and all that i would like to say very, very thank you anywhere around the world to our top listener in let me say Osborne, united states and richardson united states I don't know you guys, but I just want to say thank you to you guys so much for just listening and always listening, tuning in. Like, we really, really do appreciate it. So, on our first episode of the season, we just wanted to go... We just wanted to try something new. So, we'll just be bringing, like, sports, sports thing. And with this one, I'll just leave everything to... Delali, cause I'm not, I'm not a sports kind of person, so he will just brush us through everything, so that, so I don't know the folks that you guys who love sports a lot. This, I think this will be like your favorite episode or something. So, Delali, in the world of sports, what's going on? So even before I begin, let me say that I actually suggested this. Yeah, and, and you know I suggested it because. Well, you know, very soon um, the season is about to start. Um, Teams are preparing, making sign, making signings here and there. So I just felt, you know, it's it's just right. I think that the time, the time is the timing is right that we talk about, you know, sports and we talk about teams and football teams specifically. And you know, I know, I know. For people who, for people listening from the US, football might, you know, mean something else. But here, I mean soccer. The, the proper football, not the one who play there. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so yeah, I just feel, I just feel it's just right, you know, the timing is right that we talk about, you know, sports, sports in general. Yeah. And yeah, I think, I think, you know, starting, I think it's, I think it's, you know, from from Ghana. Recently, I think there has been. I don't know if it's if it's the um, I I E or something something. I think the indoor games. Ah, uh, okay. And so okay, so the I W F, the World I-W-F, Championship. Yeah. yeah, yes, yes. Where our Ghanaian brothers placed third in the in the um, in the the relay. Yeah, and yeah. I feel yeah. Well, that's 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 like that's a big feat, a huge feat, you know. Congratulations to them because you know we haven't really been doing so well when it comes to athletics. Yeah, true. I, I, don't, know, I don't know if it's, if, I don't know if it's from the management. I don't know if it's negligence or it's just as I you know. I don't know if it's just us as a, you know, as a whole or as a person, but as, as sorry as a, as people, mm. if we just don't. We don't have um i don't know if we don't have a lot of interest or we are just not as enthused in athletics as we are when it comes to um, football, football and the yeah. Rest. yeah so I, I don't know but yo it's, it's big i think it's it's really big looking at the people and uh, looking at the countries they they, they had they had in in, in the in the, they had in the finals i think they they, they, they did really well yeah they, they, they did, did really, really well, well. And you know, you know, you look. I look at this, and you know, you you know, you be expecting that after this, we would want to improve or move or move a, a step higher. You know, you'd be thinking that maybe you know the authorities and the the, the sports, the sports and mm. the sports fraternity um, and, yeah. the, and the youth and sports would want to you know either um, encourage them. Mm. You know, in a way, by way of you know, giving them, you know, some, you know, some tokens here and there, something to you know boost their confidence. You know, I think they will. The... I think they will because I think I this is the current set that won the 
that won the all African games. I think last four years. I think they were the same guys who won the and the the, the relay for Ghana in like the the last games, like the African oh, one. Okay. The last, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think they've been able to like maintain them and all that. So yeah, I think it's it's, it's very great, it's very great. And with the with the support that they got from people and the government, it's very nice. Cause for me, I for me, I didn't know they were like like let me say Ghana was bad. So after they just finished with the with the track with the whatever they say, that's when I got to them and I'm like, okay, so these guys did so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did so well. And I think you know the other the other people too did well. In other countries they did well. Okay. Mm. You know, but then I, I'm looking at it from this angle. Okay, so if 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 these were the same people who 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 helped us um, during the All African Games? Are, yeah. are, are we just are we are we are we are we just um, are, are we boxing ourselves to be just um, a really country? Because you know, well, when you look at Jamaica, for instance, with them doing um, boat time, you know, they had boats, they had they had Asafa Powell, and then they had one other guy who. Who also competes, you know, who also competed in other, um, in 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 in, in other um, in other forms, and um, they did they could they competed in um, the hundred meters, the two hundred meters. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I, 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 I'm thinking, whoa, what's really happening? If if we are doing so well in the relays, why can't we compete in in the other, you know, in, in the other races, in the hundred meters and the two hundred meters? Though. I think they do come they do, but, but it's they left. Don't look at yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing is, you have to qualify. I think there's a exactly. round you qualify. So sometimes he might, let me say, you might get you might get one of the athletes um, finishing third, but he might not qualify with like the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so I think what happens yeah. is, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. So, so sometimes, so sometimes I think the time goes against them or something. Yeah. Yeah, and I think what happens is in every heat, in every heat, the, the first three, the first three are selected for the next round. Yeah. And I know, I know, I think I don't know if it's Azamati or the other guy, in in in, in the in the hundred meters race, I think he failed, he failed, he failed to come. To it. I think he was close. I think he was close or something. Like that. But then you know because they select the first three, he they, 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 they usually don't make the cuts. And you know, I'm thinking, you know, for uh, after after some years, you know, they should be able to, you know, train. I don't know if it's the training. I don't know if it's because I know I know we don't have the resources, and that's why most of these guys we don't have the resources, we don't have the equipment. We just don't have what to, you know, to you know to to train these people. So most of these guys are actually based in the US. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, because look at the money, the money we we we, we push into football. And you know, you look at the results we keep getting. I'm thinking it's about time we, you know, we channel some of some of the resources, some of the money, some of the monies to these, you know, sporting events too. So that means we can, you know, encourage the young ones, and also you know try to you know, you know, make a name for ourselves when it comes to athletics and you know the other sporting events too. We shouldn't just concentrate on football because it looks as if listen, it looks as if the football. It's not working for us anymore. There was a time, there was a time we were doing well, but now, now we are not really doing so well. So I believe we should, you know, you know, shift some of the attention to, you know, these 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 sporting events too, and see what we can, you know, get out of it. Mm, but you see, they won't shift any resource to other to the other sporting sporting what like disciplines or something. They will just focus on football because that's where they know they will get like there there's like they will get their share in anything. In yeah. Anything. So for me, I see it as okay. You you just go. Okay, we will just give you something. We we'll just go and just compete. But our ninety percent or whatever budget is on football. So yeah. But I think it's true, and you know, thinking about it, yeah, I think about it. I think it's not just Ghana. 
Yes. I, I don't I think it's apart from apart from apart from Jamaica and then the US who 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 are, who spend quite a lot a lot on in, yeah. in developing Alex, yes. yeah yeah yes in developing talent then um, um drafting for talent and all that I, I think when you look at other countries I think the Bahamas too yeah yeah Bahamas yeah, yeah. and Trinidad and Tobago they also they also put in so much into into athletics yeah but then you look when you look at the other countries where I think when you go to um Britain don't really they don't they don't really have I think Britain no, they, I think Great Britain does because if you had to check yeah. like let me say this season if you could see that I think the Jamaicans have lost I wouldn't say they've lost they've lost their their boost or something but most of the races you could see it's either the United States the or Great Britain or Bahamas yeah. or South Africa so I think now yeah. it's like everyone knows how to run you see, you see, everyone has just got that technique. It's just like, it, 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 okay, so let me say, it's just like the Japanese. You see, when I was just reading, um, like the history of the Olympics and about the sweep, about the swimming, that butterfly shoot and everything. Do you know yeah. that at first the swimming was just the normal swimming, like how you just go and you just be swimming? So, oh, really? yes. So it was the Japanese during the, I think the time they hosted the Olympics, like 60 years ago. That's when they brought in that technique, the backstroke, everything. So, oh. so you could see that for time, time they were the ones. Uh, let me say, getting every medal in the swimming thing. So I think the other countries got to learn from it, and they learned from it better. So that's how you can see now. You can see them in, but mostly it's the Americans and, and them, I think, competing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so what? It's, it's, okay. I think, yeah, please, please go, go on. Oh, oh, you go on. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I just, I just, I just, I just remember something. You know, you need, in, in, um, in past years, yeah. South Africa, they're not doing, they're not really a name. Uh, we're not really a country you would you know you would predict predict um athletes coming from yeah but all of true. a sudden for, like, for the past eight eight twelve years so, for some reason some way somehow they always have they always have people winning medals they have they have names that are doing so well and you know you think about it like it's actually true you know you, the thing is you just have to you just have to apportion some resources to it and and also putting an effort, be be intentional about it, and I think that's what we are we are not we are not we are not, we are not doing here. We are not really intentional about this because listen, you know when you go for these um, this um, senior high school inter interco interco yeah. and then you go for the university and the the, the tertiary inter schools and all that, there are actually people who 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 are very good at these things, but yeah, then they what are happens? Good, is, but they won't be paid. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, good. Exactly. They don't be because and I know one guy that, thing, let me see, the funny thing, I know one guy who used to, and when you go for regional, Eastern region, regional, sorry to our listeners who don't know, so it's like the Eastern part of Ghana or something. So there was this guy who I think did so well when you go for regional. He was, he, he was from Opoku A. No, he was from Ophiripini. So he did so well, fantastic. He won every medal. Now, if you are even to check from him, he's nowhere to be found. He just lost it. That's the thing. And the, the, the lucky ones are the ones that get um, drafted into the universities. You know, some of these schools, some of these universities um, give them scholarships, so they you know so they can they can they can join their. They are um, the sporting group or whatever, and then and if you are lucky to you join the military or immigration, most times it's either the immigration or the military. Aside that, the government doesn't really uh, they don't they don't really care so much about these ones. You know, they they don't really care so much about them, and it's it's sad. It's sad. I think we have to really we have to be intelligent. We have to deliberate about it. 
you know it's ha- it's there, there has to be a plan you know there has to be a plan that that you know what this we're going to do in the next 10 15 years this is what we are looking to achieve we, yeah. you know, in the next olympics we are looking to get about three medals even if it's bronze we'll be satisfied in the next eight years you know we we aim for we aim higher either silver either, either we get a silver a silver and a gold at least that's progress until then we we, we, we continue struggling we continue we, you know we just we go for these um we go for these athletic games and then we just come we come back with just one medal or and most and it's mostly bronze nothing else mm. it's sad mm. it's sad so let's head to the international scene so with the english premier league why yes. the line, why isn't wait why doesn't why doesn't uh, any team want to sign Cristiano Ronaldo? Why? Ooh, you know that's that's a, that's a very that's a big question. Is it that? You know, is it now, that he's think, too old? Or... I think it's a factor. The age is also a factor because you know he's thirty-seven. I think he, he he'll be hitting thirty-eight very soon. I think somewhere next year or so. So yeah, the age the age factor is also a reason. However. Mm. Um, I think clubs, clubs are also looking at his wages. You know, he's on he's on some really high wages. You know, so they, they look at the wages and then looking at the the economic situations of most of these clubs, they they don't want to you know risk 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 it all. Cause yeah, listen, yes, he's a very he's a, he's he's an amazing player. And you know, if you sign him, you are guaranteed of at least twenty goals. Oh, and it depends. Yes, it, depends. Yeah. it depends because if you had to see what happened last season, if it wasn't for him that he did his own thing that he scored, you, you could see that he didn't think there was no coercion between his teammates and him. There was nothing. Yeah, there that's what I'm saying. That, listen, that, that's what I'm saying. That when if you if you sign a player like him, at least you know, you know, even if, if you're not getting anything from him. You are getting the goals, at least twenty goals that you get it. Mm. That's the thing. But then, but then also, you'd have to factor in his age. You'd have to factor in the wages, uh, you know. And I know a lot of clubs don't want to take such risk now, because you know, listen, clubs are going through it, business are going through it, and you know, football is a business. Yeah. And and most of, and these owners wouldn't want to risk it all like that. They wouldn't want to because listen, you know, if if you are signing him. You know, you, you are you are not paying him anything less than five hundred k a week. Yeah, and, as, and, yeah. and for that thing, too, and for the way his weight is too is too high. It's so high. It's so high. I think it's he so should, high. Just, and then he should also, just get a club and just like maybe agree for his wages to be maybe if it's if it's to drop to like four hundred three hundred. I think he should be okay with it because now. You don't have that energy like how you used to ten years ago. Yes. So and 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 for even you are not like messy. Mm. That's the problem yes. with this uh, Ronaldo fans. Sorry to our listeners, anyone who's a Ronaldo fan. You guys should know your player is not like Messi. Because when Messi, if Messi says he wants to leave PSG, automatically he will get a club. To sign him, and for me, and for me, I've always said that his his biggest mistake was moving back to United. Because if I was him, I would have never moved to United. I would have just, I, I would have just gone gone to like City. Because with City, yeah. you with City, seriously, you can get whatever you want. You can you can be back. I think he wanted to just retire there or something and you see plans don't normally work well, whatever you set out don't normally work so i think yeah. you should just work with his agent and you should just get him a club because you know mm-hmm. so you know getting a club actually i don't think i don't think it's a problem but you know so united are not looking to sell united are, they don't want to sell and i know clubs uh, clubs are clubs are aware of this and don't want to, you know, um, you know, go through the whole stress. Because Manchester have made it; they've made it 
they've made it clear that they won't sell him. He, they've made it clear that they, are, they, they won't. They, he's not going. He's going nowhere. You get it. So if if I'm a club, if I'm a club and I'm and I'm interested, knowing United are not ready to let the player leave, or they're not they're not ready to let him go. Yo, it's just better I look elsewhere. United don't want to go, but the player wants to go. Yes. The player but wants to go. But then he listen, if he wants to go, but then he's under contract. Hmm. You understand? So if he wants to go and and your 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 contract has not expired, and the club is not is not is not looking to sell you, what can you do? <laughs> what so you really just can end you do? Nothing. Contract. How is it going to end it? You he has the money the to just he has the money to just pay for whatever fine, fine, whatever and uh, hmm. whatever judgment they've that they will come up with. He has the money. Because mm-hmm. seriously, because mm-hmm. like, look at something you know, next season. You see, for like a player like Ronaldo, he set out to be like, okay, for for every season, I must either I must play in the Champions League. Now your club doesn't qualify for Champions League, not even Europa. Then you are going to play in conference, and the conference too. No, no, no. They, quali- they qualify for Europa. <laughs> they, they qualified for Europa. Really? <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. Uh, because they because did. They because qualified. I thought because I thought they qualified because they were they were what well, I think they were just were they fit or fit? They were fit. Okay, so I thought maybe we didn't. No, 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 they were fit. They were fit. Akan eh. was fit. They were okay. fit. They were fit. So if fit, so if fit, I think they will cause. Okay, okay, okay. Because for me, I thought because so, because of it, because maybe his club didn't qualify for the Champions League. He will because he he's a player who wants like play in the Champions League and all that. And for something. Yes. Eh, eh, and for me, one thing that is very funny is the uh, is the let me say with a spot like that he'll be bringing to Europa. Cause my United, I think I was reading a post by someone on Twitter, and the person was I think one of those commentators or something. He's like, my United doesn't want him to play. Maybe they might just bring him cause he, cause they were asked. The club was asked. If they'll let him play like full 90 minutes, like in like the Europa or something, something. And one of the club spokesman, sorry, the club spokesperson was like, they are not really, really sure because they might either, he might not even play, he might just play the leg. So, with that, I think for a player of his source, he will be one, he wants to like just move on. Just get a new club, cause they are club. Cause I think he was just linked to Bayern Munich or something, with like with, with those speculation and all that. And Bayern will be playing the Champions League. So, and 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 for like secondly too, I saw a post about one guy saying they should go and PSG should go and buy him and he should play with Messi and all that. I'm like, oh, serious. For me, no, I think no. he should just leave United. I, 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 well, I don't, I don't want him to leave because, you know, listen, I like Ronaldo. I, I, I respect him a lot. I, th- I think what he has done, you know, in the world of in the, in the world of football is, is yo, it's, it's madness. You understand? And all these things, all these things, you know, are, 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 they, they are, they are leaving dents on, on his name. Yeah. You get it? Because yo. It, it almost looks as if he's always in, 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 in one conflict with the club or, or the other and it, it doesn't look good on him you mm, understand yeah I, I feel listen listen if you really want your club to play in the Champions League why don't you make a difference he can't you understand? he can't uh, make it he, because uh, I understand uh, last season he did a bit he did a because part. the small boys at that club there was their name those boys you could see when they started the season, they didn't even want to like, they didn't even want to like maybe share him a ball or maybe for like something, yeah. something, something, something. So you can see the frustration with how he played last season, and it was like, no, this is not the player that, this is not the player that the world knows. 
because because you could see you could see that it got to a point he was just like soft like let me just say let me say he was working hard to get the ball to to like to like to even score a goal so with that and, and I, I think I, I I get what you're saying. I and it's true. Looking at his age, you I looking at his age. I don't think it's it's I don't think it's it's reasonable to let him drop deep. Because yes, look, last season there were times where, where when he had to drop deep. You know where he had to be involved in link up link, link up play here and there. You know he drops deep to pick up the ball. And at his age, he, you know he can't be running. You know, he can be running up and down for the whole 90 minutes. So you, you know, you expect him to be, you know, a box, a, you know, someone who 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 who, who moves within the, the the opponent's box, which is what a lot of clubs do. When you look at um, Ibrahimovic, what he does now, he doesn't really run so much because because of his age. He's, he's, yeah. he's, I think he's 41. He'll be 41 very soon. So he, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't run so much, and that's what Ronaldo should be looking to do. And looking at Manchester, and looking at Eric Ten Hag, you know the kind of the kind of ball he plays, it will require him to, to you know, to, to be always running. You know, he he, he that uh, Ten Hag's formation is more pressing, mm. which will require him running maybe for the whole ninety minutes, and I think maybe that's what he's looking to avoid. But yo, listen. I don't, I don't, I don't foresee any club coming in for him. I, I don't see it happening. I don't see. I, I, I have. There are rumors that he has been linked to um, Atletico Madrid. Yeah. I don't know how true that. But then I, I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Okay. Okay. So Delali, do you have anything aside from, oh, like what? Aside from Ronaldo, yes. what else? So Listen, in the next six about minutes. My club. Okay, so okay, so in the next few minutes, okay, you just talk about your club because you have only six my minutes to the show. Well. So, so what's my your club? Ask now. Oh, boom. <laughs> what do you mean, whoa? Oh, <laughs> what do you mean, whoa? Oh. For me, I don't see us now as a club. I see it as. Like, let's see. Hey, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. I'm not listening to anything. We've ended, we've ended this, we've ended it today. What do you mean, just as a club? Before me, I think, club. I think you guys have the players and everything. You, you guys even have Yakubu. Yakubu, but he's not doing anything. You guys have Inkitia and whatever. Seriously. Uh-huh. Oh, you no, guys man, have all the youngsters, but I think sometimes it's just. Let me say, I don't know if it's in your DNA or something. No. So you know, we're asked now, eh? we're asked now. What, what what has been happening? Is in times, you know, you know, in football, in football, you know, to be very successful, you need a blend of young players and very experienced players. Mm. But in in as what, what has been happening, especially in in the past ten years, is. A lot of times we either have very old players or very young players. Me, but what you need is that you need a blend of both. You need the young and then the old. In recent times, we've had there were seasons where we had very young, like inexperienced players. Like last season, for instance, we had um, we had averagely we had the youngest squad. Yeah. So you know, we had all, most of the most of our starting start eleven were all young players and with the exception of Pate and Zaka and um, yeah Zia Zaka yeah but now now looking at the, the signings we have made we look really good I I you know I really up, yeah I set up late to watch our match against um Chelsea um this morning we played it was played at 12 12 a.m I I watched it and we looked really good and for me, I have, I have, I've been one of, one of the biggest um, critics. I, I criticize them a lot, especially the manager. But yo, the match against Chelsea, we looked really good. We looked really good. Then, then that's because now, we have players who are a bit experienced, and we have, and we have a little bit of grown-ups. You look up, you look at um, 
Gabriel Jesus, who is really, I think he's in his, he's 25, 26. Jesus. Zenshenko is, is 20, 24, 25, they're about. Pate is 29. Zaka is, um, is 20 something. So yeah, now we have a blend of young and old. And then we have, we have, we also have a blend of um, experience, very experienced, and then, you know, players who are still picking up. So now things look really promising now. I I I would be surprised if we don't make top four next season. I would I would be very surprised. And if we don't, I'm, I'm blaming the coach. I'm blaming the manager, honestly. Because I think now we have we have we have what it we have the player we have the players we have the quality. So, so I, I don't see I don't see how we don't make top four. And I'm excited. Uh, listen, we scored Chelsea four four zero. Listen, it's not. 4-0, 4-0. Yo, that's big. That's yo, listen. Oh, for all please. those people who, Oh please, oh please. Who, it's who, just who, pre-season. Who, if you guys start the league them. now, nothing will happen. You, you, nothing will happen. It not, will just be the yeah. nil nil, draw, draw, one zero. It won't happen. Uh, it it won't happen. happen. We'll, oh we'll put you we are here to see. Oh the, we are here to the, see. <laughs> oh, that game supporters union. Listen, we'll put everyone to shame. Oh, I, please, we I, are not against. We are not against. Let, next season looks promising. I, I listen. In recent years, I haven't been this excited about the national squad, but in this one, listen, I, it's the team looks good. It's really, it really looks really good. Mm. Really we thank God. We thank God. It looks good. So oh, you guys, are, you oh, for? we thank God. It's really good. So yes. if, so. If the league starts, then you, then we get to see them uh, playing like they are going for a shopping ride or like roller coaster. No, one, you see, guys, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be surprised. We shouldn't be surprised because for me, Arsenal is a team that okay. So for me, my dad's team is Arsenal, so I mostly try to like uh, have fun, have fun, have fun. So that like, I'll just laugh at him all that because yeah, listen, he knows cause... good things. <laughs> hey, he, he knows, knows what, 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 what good things. He, he, he knows he knows what let me tell you, let me tell you. In England, one of the one of the clubs with history is Arsenal. Yes, we know. We know. So yo, if you know, I don't know why if you keep you know you, you keep doubting us. I understand we haven't really looked at our best in recent years, but yo. All that is changing. I I listen. I I I, I can I, I see I see big things happening. I I see big things happening. Big things indeed. <laughs> Yo, listen, you people, uh, we we'll shock, we we'll shock everyone, we we'll shock you, okay. we we'll shock people. <laughs> okay, our listeners, you've listened some more. They said, uh, <laughs> they said, us now, us now will shock everyone. So let's see. <laughs> Let's see when the league starts in August. Yeah. Let we'll see. Because for me, anywhere Messi goes, I'm there. So me, I'm a PSG fan now. If Messi <laughs> goes somewhere else, I'll just change. So anywhere oh, he goes, me, me, I just go. But for me, English Premier League, my team is Man City. Yeah, and we did so well. Oh. We know we Liverpool know. could oh. never take it. <laughs> Take the league or whatever. I think they were just. You see, Liverpool, the team now. Nah, I see us. They are. They are just fighting because okay, yeah. yeah and thankfully, money is not around. So, mm-hmm. so our listeners, I hope you guys love our first episode of season three. So we just tried. We wanted to try something new. So. We hope you just enjoyed every bit of it. And like we would like to say, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone supporting us. And you can also support us by just clicking the link below, either Patreon or PayPal to just donate to this podcast. Like I say, thank you to you all. And with this new season, we're bringing you with a lot of things that like unprovoked discussion issues and all that so you guys should just stay tuned and just love everything 
just follow follow just follow just follow the, the podcast just li- like it subscribe it everywhere on our social media handles you can just listen to it with everything with that much said i like to say have a nice day good night good day wherever you are bye